Hi. I would like to use uh, the slide to keep you updated on what's happening in Germany regarding the RSE initiative. A um, um, bit of history first. Um, it was the RSE conference last year in Manchester which uh, kicked off things a bit more than the years before because it was not just one person uh, saying that RSE, an RSE initiative would be good in Germany as well. It would have been five to seven persons there at this conference and three of them finally decided uh, to kick things off and we built a website, um, had a Slack group, set up a mailing list by end of September. Everything was set up and we defined a few objectives and also um, activities to, to reach these objectives. Uh, from then on, from end of September, we started to do a network. Uh, we have regular community calls, uh, which are on Thursday, the first Thursday each month. And we raised awareness so that we are right now have a mailing list with uh, a bit more than 60 subscribers, which is not that bad, but it can be better. Um, the objectives we have is that we want to ensure uh, sustainability and verifiability um, of research software in the scientific landscape. We want to improve the perception of research software so that it's a first class citizen like, like uh, text publications or data publications. Uh, we would like to open up research software as a key building block in open science. Uh, we want uh, to link research software in the scientific reputation system so that you can get credit for it and uh, that you have the required metrics to find out if you're doing, doing good stuff with, uh, in, in terms of research software. Uh, we want to <coughs> uh, professionalize uh, the software development by means of um, um, using best practices and um, to establish the essential core competences, competency among young scientists. Um, we also would like to integrate uh, research software and high level activities like e science and new infrastructures. But it was only two minutes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so,